Welcome to F260, week 35, Matthew 24, 1 to 31, entitled The End Times. <clears throat> Highlight verses from Matthew 24, 2. And Jesus said unto them, See not all these things, verily I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Explaining this. <clears throat> In the previous verse, the disciples pointed out how very impressive the temple architecture was. Jesus responded, you're not impressed by all this sheer size, are you? The truth of the matter is that there is not a stone in that building that is not going to end up in a pile of rubble. Jesus is prophesying of what would happen 37 years later in 70 AD when General Titus and the Roman army would utterly destroy the temple, its walls, and the city. Applying this, after this, Israel would cease to exist as a nation, and Jerusalem would be occupied by the Gentiles, non-Jews. <coughs> For the next 2,000 years, it would be occupied by the non-Jews. The time of Gentile occupation of Jerusalem ended in 1948 when through the auspices of the United Nations, Israel once again became a nation. And Jerusalem was retaken from the Arab nations during the Six-Day War in 1967. This had to happen before the prophecy could be fulfilled, because the nation of Israel plays such a prominent role in the end times. In the rest of this chapter, Jesus gives a list of the signs that would occur leading to the end times. This is on the video for week 34, Luke 17 and 18. He also foretells the concluding calamities of Israel's history leading up to the time of the Antichrist at the end of the age. There are many events in Matthew 24 that relate successively to each opening of a seal on the scroll described in Revelation chapter 6. The scene in Revelation 6 takes place in heaven and the Lamb of God, the resurrected Jesus Christ, is opening a scroll that has seven seals. As he enrolls the scroll at each seal, an end time event occurs. Here in Matthew 6, Jesus is prophesying the catastrophic, catastrophic events that will be occurring with the opening of each seal in Revelation 6. The first four seals of the scroll are referred to as the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Uh, they are the white horse, red horse, black horse, and the pale horse. At the opening of the first seal, the seven-year tribulation begins with the appearance of the white horse, which is a false Christ, the Antichrist. With the opening of the second seal, we have the appearance of the red horse and the occurrence of many wars on earth, even more so than what is going on right now. With the, with the opening of the third seal and the appearance of the black horse, there was great distress on the earth from famines, pestilences, and earthquakes. The famine will be so great that a loaf of wheat bread or three loaves of barley bread will cost about $70 at today's rate of exchange. With the opening of the fourth seal and the appearance of the pale horse, there is widespread death upon the earth from the cumulative effect, cumulative effect of the events of the first three seals wars, famines, and pestilences, uh, and earthquakes. All of these are the beginning of sorrows, as it says in Matthew 24, 8. Just as the birth pangs of childbirth precede the exceedingly great pain experienced just before a child is born, the calamities of the first three seals precede the even greater calamities that are to follow with the opening of the remaining four seals, which will be the subject of a future video. My response, until then, stay tuned. God bless.